Hi and welcome. We are excited to kick off MathMania this year as part of our 2023 OMSD STEAM Symposium that will take place on April 29th at Serrano Middle School. The following is information to help you prepare for MathMania at your sites and hopefully answer any questions that you might have regarding this event. MathMania is open to any students in grades 4th through 8th grade. Each site may submit one team of four students for each participating grade level. So if you are at a K-6 school, you can submit a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth grade team. If you are at a K-8 school, you can submit a fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade team um, if you'd wish. This year, we will have two divisions. Um, the first division will be the elementary division, and that's for fourth through sixth grade. And then our second division is for middle school, and that is sixth through eighth. Sixth graders will be split up depending on uh, your school site. So if you are at a K-6, your sixth graders will compete with you at the elementary division. If you are at a K-8 or at Wiltsey Middle School, then those sixth graders will compete in the middle school division. Um, just to help you plan, um, we do have the times there for you. So the elementary division will be competing from 11.30 to 1 p.m. These times are tentative. Um, and then our middle school division will be competing from 8 to 9.30 a.m. Um, students do not have to stay um, at the event for the entire um, for the entire time, um, but if you want them to participate, just know that we will have an awards assembly at one o'clock to announce the winners. And so, if you have middle school students that are only competing in Math Mania this year, um, they could technically go home at 9:30 and then come back at 1 p.m. for the awards. Um, this year, alternates will be allowed, um, but only to fill in for any sick teammates. Um, we will not be allowing students to swap out during the event once it has started. Um, for the actual event itself, um, we will provide scratch paper, pencils, manipulatives, um, anything that the students will need to complete in the event. Um, we will be um, offering and providing participation certificates for all of the students, including those, including those alternates. Um, students will have access to a map of Serrano and the schedule of the day to help them prep. Um, and then we will, and this is pending, but we will provide um, Chromebooks as well so that the, the students can compete. If for some reason we can't get a hold of some Chromebooks, um, we will send out an email to all of you um, letting you know to have um, your students bring their Chromebooks on that day. Um, but as of now, we are hopeful that we will be able to provide all of their events so that the students just have to come in ready and prepared to compete for the day. Um, students will rotate uh, to three different rooms to compete in four different categories. And so the four different categories will be problem solving, mental math, estimation, and logic. Um, coaches and site leads, unfortunately, are not allowed in the competition rooms. And so students will enter these rooms. We will have proctors that will be ready um, to give all directions needed for that competition. Um, and coaches and site leads will have to wait outside of those rooms. Um, something to keep in mind, in the past, we have had teams wear a school shirt or a shirt that's um, made for this event. This is obviously not a requirement, um, but it does help the students find each other during the event. Um, and then it gets it helps them to just kind of show off their team spirit. Again, this is not a requirement, uh, but it is just fun to see the students um, with their similar shirts having fun. Um, in the first room, uh, students will compete in problem solving. Um, all, all responses for this will be submitted via Google Forms. Uh, we will collect one form per team. And so with this being said, you may want to consider having a team captain um, that will be in charge of entering and submitting all of their answers for the team. Teams will have about 15 minutes to answer anywhere between 14 and 19 questions on a Google Form. Problems will be a combination of word problems from the Eureka Math curriculum and other resources, including Google. Um, students will work together to solve problems, but only one team member will enter a response on Google Form. And so students will have one Chromebook uh, per team so that they can open up the Google Form and enter those answers. They will also be provided with uh, a whiteboard and dry erase markers so that they can work on these problems. In the second room, students will compete in both mental math and estimation. And so for mental math, all of the team members will have to submit their own Google form. And, we, and what we end up doing is um, we take the average score for the team. And so for this one competition, every single student will have their own Chromebook. Um, the way that we do this is we have one minute for students to do a practice quiz. This is paper pencil and students will have about 25 problems. They don't have to answer them all, but they do have one minute to try to answer as many as they can. After the minute is up, we give them three minutes to talk to each other and share any patterns and tips that they saw. This is where they get to share strategies with each other, depending on the types of problems that they saw. 
And then once those three minutes are up, then students will then get onto their Chromebooks, open up the Google Forms, and they get two minutes to do the actual quiz on a Google Form. There is about 45 questions. I don't expect students to finish all 45, um, but I'd rather have more problems than, than have students not have enough problems to compete. So just know they get two minutes to try to finish as many of the 45 problems as possible. Something to keep in mind for mental math is um, the focus for my fourth grade teams uh, will be multiplication. So those problems that they get for mental math will be multiplication based. Fifth grade will focus on division. My sixth grade students will focus on one step equations. So anything like X minus five equals 10, something like that. And then my sixth and seventh, I mean, sorry, my seventh and eighth grade teams will also be doing one step equations, um, but they will have negative numbers involved in their one step equations. Um, the second, uh, once they're done with mental math, they will then move into estimation in that same room. And so the way that we're doing it this year is students will have about one to two minutes to come up with as um, to come up with their team estimate for each of the different stations that they have around the room. And so we will have posters, we will have hands on things that students can look at, hold, weigh. Um, we'll have anywhere between four and five stations, depending on the number of students we have. Um, register and so teams will walk around the room together again they have one to two minutes to come up with their team estimate and then they will enter their response on a google form so the plan as of now is to have ipads and so again if you have a team um, captain that team captain can take the ipad with them from station to station and then again students have time once they have come up with their team estimate they will enter it onto that google form and then move on to that next estimation station estimations can include anything from distance height weight quantity um, and again it's going to be posters and also um, items that they can see hold look at and manipulate in the third room that they go into students will compete in logic and a logic competition for this one, students will have 15 minutes to complete some kind of hands-on puzzle. Again, all responses will be submitted via Google Forms. We will collect one form per team, just like we did with problem solving. And so again, you may want to consider having that team captain in charge of that. Uh, teams will get one set of manipulatives to work together and solve a given task. But again, only one team member will enter that response on a Google form. So you may want to have the students practice working together on some kind of puzzle and then making sure that they can um, agree on an answer so that they can give it to their team captain. Um, for the awards, teams with the highest score for each of the different competitions will be awarded as follows. And so we will have um, awards for the elementary division and then awards for the middle school division. And teams will be called out for the overall winner for problem solving, for logic, for mental math, and for estimation. Um, unfortunately, due to the size of the event, we will not be calling for a second, third, fourth, et cetera, places um, to come up to the stage. Um, we will just be calling out the overall team winner for those divisions. And so my fourth through sixth grade students um, with sixth graders that are at an elementary um, will be competing against each other. And then my sixth through eighth with my sixth graders that are at a K-8 or at a middle school will be competing against each other to try to win that overall award. Um, Lots of volunteers this year. And so if you are going to be at our event and are able to, please sign up to be a volunteer. We will be emailing that volunteer sign up form um, so that you can um, help us run this event. If you know anybody at your site that would be willing to sign up as a volunteer, please feel free to share that um, that sign with that sign up form with them. Mathmania teams um, registration is due on March 10th. This registration is not, um, I don't need student names as of now. This is just to let me know that your site is planning on having a team and that you guys are working on getting those. So I just need to know if you will have, um, if you will have, if you will be participating and if so, how many teams you will be bringing. Um, other logistical information that you will need for this event, um, all students will need to have a permission slip filled out. And so, um, the site lead at your site will keep one copy of that permission slip and then that second copy will be turned in at check-in the day of the event. We will have check-in tables. Um, where we will give you um, all the information that you need. And so once you check in, um, you can submit those uh, permission slips. If you plan to be there for both the elementary and middle school competitions, because I know a lot of you, um, it's the one 
the one site lead and some of your um, students plan to be there the entire time, you may want to bring snacks um, or lunch or coordinate to have lunch delivered to Serrano um, just because food will not be provided and it can be a long day if you plan to be there the entire time. This and all other information can be found on our STEAM, web, uh, STEAM Symposium website. Um, you can access it by going to bit.ly forward slash OMSD STEAM 23. Once you get into this bit.ly, you will get into our STEAM Symposium website. All of our information is there, including any general information for the event. All of our FAQs for the event are there. Um, permission slips can be found on that website as well. And then information for each of our different events. So if you scroll all the way down to STEAM, you will get to our M. That's where you will find the slide deck that you just saw in this video. And then you will also find the team registrations. Again, any questions that you may have, feel free to email me at rosa.gutierrez at omsd.net. Um, and if not, I will see you the day of the event.